Today we will take a brief look at the history of the handhelds from the Game Boy to the 3DS. So first came the Game Boy. Let's see this thing in action. Turn on thing. black and white screen of the Game Boy, with only the control pad, the B and A buttons, select and start. This is it. The thing that would change Nintendo handheld systems forever. The 1989 Game Boy. Let's take a look at the Game Boy Color. Like the Game Boy, it was a big chunky thing with only two buttons, with two alphabet buttons or whatever you call those things. B, A, the control pad, start and select. And okay, let's turn this thing on. Where is that power button? Oh, here it is. Yep, old Pokemon Crystal. Pokemon Gold and Silver also came out. They have Pokemon Crystal, but this thing just won't save through. But we have the Game Boy Color, just like the Game Boy, except in color. Wow, it's so amazing. Then came the mighty old Game Boy Advanced. The home of the Hoenn region and Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Let's turn this thing on. This is Tetris. Uh, apparently, I have to press start. See, so this is Tetris. Worlds, apparently. But, this is the Game Boy Advance. And it also plays games in color with quite better graphics too. It's hard to see, but the graphics are way better than the old guys over here. And this is the Game Boy Advance, the third generation of handhelds of Nintendo. Then comes the original DS. Let me open this thing. Ah! <clears throat> so with these huge speakers and finally two screens and the control pad and four buttons finally four buttons and even a microphone uh this thing doesn't have battery so i can't turn it on so i'll just show you what it looks like Here is the original DS. 
fat and chunky too. So look how, how fat it is. Still super fat. Oh my god. Here is a DS Lite. And it's home to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And if you must say Pokemon Black and White and Black Tone White too. So this time it only has six speakers. Here. Two touch screens. Uh, four buttons. And we have start and select over here. And a control pad. Uh, let's, let's turn this thing on. Oops, it sets a volume button. Where is the power button? Oh, here it is. So this has a few more features. So we have a game and we have Picto Chat as well as wireless play. It's pretty interesting. So this is the fourth generation of the Nintendo handheld systems. And finally we come to this gem of a game. This is the fifth generation of the handheld systems. Home to Pokemon X and Y for 3DS. Four buttons, power button, home button. Wow. Start, select, control pad, and oh look a joystick so I don't have to be mashing my fingers on this stupid thing whenever I want to move. And 3D. It looks a little weird, but it's 3D. And also it has play coins, internet, and it even has this stuff here too. This stuff. This is my favorite out of all the handheld systems. It's amazing how far we've gone. From 25 years ago to this old thing, which only played in black and white, only had A, B, control pad, start and select, to this thing, which even has a joystick and a home button, and four buttons here. We have gone so far. Thank you, Nintendo, for giving us these handheld games. So that wraps up the history of the handhelds. I, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe.